So what I want to talk to you today about is actually, we're going to talk about Gishan, but um, how do you go about um, displaying maps in a way that you can have lots of different kind of features, but still um, display them in an effective way? So at times we have a lot of overlapping features and how do we deal with that? So and this is an example of a map that has an inset around Deer Lake. So inset maps sort of, in this case, they have an arrow pointing to areas where you want to give attention to or highlight or zoom in and use a different scale. So in this case, this um, group of students created a number of different inset maps. They're all on one page. And those inset maps were um, emphasizing areas that needed attention for maintenance in your lake. And so for instance, these are a, a thematic map focusing on culverts. That same area, now they have a thematic map uh, focusing on danger trees. And they here are invasive species, etc. Another approach that you could take would be to use these types of frames, say different colors. So in this case, this is a blue little frame that emphasizes this area. Here's a red frame that emphasizes this area. And the reason why they did that was because there were so many overlapping features in that area and it wasn't being displayed um, effectively at this scale. So how do you do this in ArcMap? So here's Gishan. And what are the, notice that right now I'm in the layout view, so you want to go into layout view. And on this page, you can set up multiple data frames. So currently, all of my data is stored under this single data frame. But what you can do is add another data frame. So I'm going to add, insert, click on data frame. And now I just created a new frame that I could have that could support some data. So either you could drag some layers that you want in this frame, or you can copy, right click, copy, and then into this frame, right click, paste. Maybe this one's going to emphasize trees. And I can now have two different um, scales. So this one here is at 1 to 500, but maybe this one I want it to be at um, one, two, you may have to be in, let's see why it's not working. Um, but before you pr proceed, you should probably, uh, set your data frame, uh, projection. So UTM NAD. So 10, okay, great. So now that my projection is set, I can change this to say a scale of one to 5,000. So this is a great way of having inset maps that emphasize certain areas or a locator map that says, hey, this is the general area where this Gishan pond is located, right? Um, you can have multiple, you can insert another one, data frame. So you can have multiple maps and you could set up having several legends, so legends that are um, specific to different data frames. And then you can, as I said, you can slide data in so that you now have trees, et cetera. So that's how you work with multiple data frames.